Hey guys, it's Dana, and welcome back to my second installment of FML Friday. And uh, this uh, installment is about a car accident that I had approximately seven years ago. Um, I was uh, getting off the exit ramp uh, to go to the job that I was working at at the time in Mississauga, and uh, there was traffic in front of me that was slowing. So obviously I stopped, um, and there was a vehicle behind me uh, that they did not stop. They uh, literally plowed uh, right into the back of my car, and at the time I had a high-end accent, which I absolutely loved. It was a hatchback. It was so cute um, in silver, uh, but yeah. They smashed into the back of my car and they actually hit me so hard that they pushed me into the car in front of me. Uh, so basically it took my little accent and Concordian style. Uh, the uh, airbags did deploy. Um, one of the things that I did that was not brilliant uh, but it was a natural reaction because I looked up in the mirror and I could tell uh, that the person behind me was not stopping and I braced myself on impact and when I did that um, this shoulder here actually kind of got jerked around by the way that I had moved. Basically, I, I braced myself well, but not well enough. Um, I'm left-handed, uh, so my left side is always stronger than my right side, so the right side of my shoulder was actually uh, screwed up for like six, I want to, it was over six to nine months, something like that, where I had what they call a uh, frozen shoulder, so I couldn't lift my arm up like to do, to do that. I had therapy uh, basically and uh, it still affects me um, with weightlifting to this day. Um, I cannot lift uh, the amount of weight I used to be able to push. Um, now some of that is probably due to age but also definitely I know if I go really hard on my shoulders for a while um, and we're doing a, a lot of intense complex set focus on the shoulder. I will be very sore. Um, the other thing that's super hard for me, and I really do enjoy now that I've gotten a lot more into Olympic weightlifting with CrossFit, I do really enjoy snatch, but uh, snatch is done from a um, back rack position, uh, which means the bar is behind you, and I find that really, really flares up uh, the situation with my shoulder. Uh, so seven years later, I'm still experiencing issues from that car accident, um, but uh, as I've always said, uh, life is about being resilient and although I can't lift the amount of weight uh, that I used to, I still can lift weights uh, and that accident could have been a lot worse so I am very lucky in the fact that um, it didn't permanently like caught a permanent scar I guess um, the damage is that I've had to my shoulder obviously is permanent um, and in part the reason why I haven't competed again uh, just that I feel now that um, my body is my body was never completely balanced I was always stronger on my left side and um, when you're competing in bodybuilding obviously aesthetics matter uh, with bodybuilding and it didn't look quite right it's not the complete reason that I wouldn't compete again but it's definitely one of the factors is that I feel like my the imbalance in my body that I have is probably significant enough that I wouldn't be competitive anymore uh, so I'm very much a person uh, that likes to win um, and anybody that knows me uh, knows that I am a fierce competitor so going into something where I could be at a disadvantage uh, is pretty rough for me to do because I know that it would be pretty difficult to overcome those obstacles, um, but I do want to end on a high note, guys. As I mentioned, that accident could have been uh, much worse. Um, I potentially, uh, 
if he was going any faster, I could have been ejected from the ve vehicle. Um, something like that could have happened. So really, to have an issue with my shoulder is not the end of the world. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of FML Friday. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please do and click the notification bell for email reminders. As a reminder, I am up to five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, just in case you didn't know the days of the week, now you know. Thanks so much for tuning in. Always remember, life's a journey, not a destination, so buckle up and enjoy the ride.